everyone, I'm Matthew Hennigan, just putting together a quick tutorial on interfaces in C++, specifically how to write them so they interface really nicely with your Blueprint code, can have C++ written underneath them, and can be extended by Blueprints. When I was putting all this together, I found a lot of out-of-date tutorials or ones in previous version numbers, and it was a lot. It was pretty hard to kind of comb through all the forum posts and piece together the different bits and pieces. So I just wanted to take a run through of a more current version of you know just how to set up a basic interface. So I'm using version 4.9.1. So everything from here is in that version. So first of all, we're just going to set up, so I'm just going to set up an interactable system, which is going to be a base class that things in the future, probably blueprints, can extend from, and have some C++ functionality already there, and use an interface for it. So there is no base interface type to extend from, which is a massive pain, and in future versions I really hope there is. But for now, the easiest way I've found is to just start from none, and we're just going to go with interactable interface. Create that. This will get put into Visual Studio for us. You can put I on the front instead of the underscore interface, but because of the way they set up the interfaces, um, I tend to do this because it puts an I on the front currently anyway, so it kind of ends up doing both. So there's two um, sets of things to set up, obviously, you got the header and the, the CPP. So starting from the top, you want to do what's common to all um, U classes, which is include the generated file. So let's just go with that to get the spelling right, but we actually want .generated.h. So that's just including the generated file that's going to um, has something to do with all the macros they generate. And let's delete all this because we're going to set all that up ourselves. So you need to set up two classes when you're making an interface. You need to set up the U class and the I class essentially. So the macro tag is U interface. And we're going to want to put in blueprintable and minimal API as our two tags. So blueprintable lets it actually be seen by blueprint. It lets it be used in cast nodes and blueprint variable types and things like that. And minimal API, not entirely sure, but it's in there in some of the other tutorials. So then we set up our two classes. The first one is so U and then the class name, which for us is interact interface and that extends public u interface now the only thing in the body here is the generated u interface body so that's the entire first class setup now it needs this and it's not a traditional C++ interface it needs this for the code reflection a whole bunch of stuff to do with how it actually fits into the engine and syncs into Blueprint and all stuff like that. So the second class we're going to set up is, and this is where you put the I on front, so the first one has U interactable interface, this one is I interactable interface. Uh, this one doesn't extend anything, it has a generated I interface body. And that's it as far as your really basic setup of that header goes. Um, so just to cover again, you need to include the generated file, the tag is, the, the macro is U interface, specifically blueprintable, and then you need to set up the U class, which extends U interface, and the I class, both with their relevant body macros. Now this will fail to compile, is that an instance running? And this I found a massive pain, essentially it needs a construction script for the U object, but if you declare one in here, it doesn't like it. So what you end up actually having to do, oh, I was going to complain about these two to start with. So first of all, you don't want that to be that, you want the U on front, because you're declaring this for the U object, but it won't like that because somewhere in one of those macros, it's being declared with the new um, the object initializer. So what you actually need to do is just put in here const f object. Just making sure I get the spelling right. Initializer 
object initializer super and then call it super. So that is the constructor that it's actually looking for. That's being declared somewhere as part of the uinterface parent or the macros or something somewhere is declaring this as its constructor and so it needs that as its constructor. The if object initializer it needs to create things like primitives and stuff. Um, use it a lot in like actor classes and it used to be called PCIP and you know I think about 4.6 they did a change over and you know, that's that's kind of really common constructor for U objects. Anyway that has actually compiled and that is the basic setup of our interface. So now if we go ahead and actually run an instance of this with that new interface we've made in code. Let's let this fire up. So if we go to say the character blueprint, open the full editor, we can do things now like cast to in, uh, in interactable interface, or we can make a variable of type um, interactable interface, and we can do all these kind of fun things. So that is our interface setup being recognized by Blueprint. So I'm going to cut this video here, just so if I, um, yeah, just so they don't get too long, and then cover how we actually make an object that uses that, and then the right way to set up functions for it.